good morning students today i am going to discuss one dimensional wave equation what students one dimensional wave equation here we discuss what is the equation of the wave equation and what is solution what are the boundary conditions let us see students let oa be a stretched string of length l with the fixed ends o and a see students take any string fixed both in students o and a okay students i take a string and fixed both ends students you fixed at both ends so first initial is a o and end point is a what is length of this string students l length of the string is l students length of the string is l okay now let o be origin and o a as x axis see students o be origin and o a is a x axis a small displacement to the string see students initially the rest position it gives small displacement students a small displacement or gives jerk students gives jerk okay now like this students displacement to the string perpendicular to its length students perpendicular to its length that means it is parallel to it is parallel to y axis it is parallel to y axis let y be the displacement what students y be a y be a displacement at the point p at the point p at any time t at any time t then the wave equation what is wave equation students do square y by do t square that is equal to c square into do square y by do x square once again students what is wave equation do square y by do t square that is equal to c square into do square y by do x square do square y by do x square here material constant students c is a material constant it defined as c square is equal to t by m t is a tension m is a mass okay so material constant now the solution of this wave equation is the solution of this wave equation is y of x comma t that is equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sin px into c3 cos pct plus c4 sin pct once again students the solution of the wave equation is y of x comma t that is equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sin px into c3 cos pct plus c4 sin pct please remember the solution students please remember the solution because the entire the wave equation we are using this solution this solution actually we can find solution students by using method of separation of variables what students we already done problems on method of separation of variables we can also find students but there is no need it is enough to know what is suitable solution see students what i am writing here suitable solution why it is suitable solution students because the string have the string have periodic nature students what students periodic nature okay so we have three we get three equation students there one is algebraic in terms of x in terms of exponential students and third one is we get uh, trigonometric function students so x means there is no in terms of x means there is no periodic nature exponential means there is no periodic nature when we get the periodic nature students when the solution contains trigonometric functional particularly sin and cos what students sin and cos that is why the suitable solution what students the suitable solution is y of x comma t that is equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sin px into c3 cos pct plus c4 sin pct okay students it has a periodic nature that is why our solution must be in terms of sin and cos sin and cos so this is the suitable solution students now these two are called boundary condition students boundary conditions see students this is a boundaries 
so initially why, why, why is function of x comma t students why is function of x comma t so here the length is 0 so y at 0 at any time t that is equal to 0 students that means there is no displacement at vo similarly at the end at the vo also there is no displacement what is length students l so y of l comma t that is equal to 0 this is the boundary condition students now let us see initial conditions see, see, see students says there is some displacement so the displacement is here students he given y of x comma 0 that is equal to f of x he given in the problem students the displacement okay please remember students he given y of x comma 0 value that means f of x value and then dou y by dou dou y by dou t at a t at a t is equal to 0 dou y by dou t means initially it is resting position students the string is resting position ok dou y by dou t means it is a velocity dou y by dou t means it is a velocity so initially what is velocity students at t is equal to 0 what is velocity there is no velocity so velocity is 0 ok students velocity is 0 velocity is 0 ok students now once again what is wave equation students dou square over dot square that is equal c square dou square over dou x square so this is solution these are the boundary conditions and this is the initial condition what are the boundary conditions students how can you remember displacement at the ends at the o and at the a 0 so y of 0 comma t 0 y of l comma t 0 initial condition is some displacement students initial velocity 0 now you substitute these condition students first you are applying y at 0 comma t y at l comma t ok then you got a c1 c2 c3 c4 values sometimes it may be 0 sometimes we get the values ok you apply the, all the conditions you find the arbitrary constant value and substitute here then you got the solution of the given equation ok students the solution of the given equation hope you understand please like this video and share it thank you thank you for watching this video jai hind